Hey everyone, welcome back to the Wood Gas Fire Builders Workshop. So today I want to talk about hoppers and um, uh, how to use them and why you would use them and so on. A couple of the questions that I get asked pretty frequently is how long can I run my gas fire and what size engines uh, can I run? And the questions are kind of related. And so we're going to go through fuel consumption, run times, and the need for a hopper and how a hopper works. So basically starting with the uh, fuel consumption, the accepted rule of thumb uh, for fuel consumption on your gas fire is going to be 2.5 pounds of fuel per kilowatt hour. And so what that means is if I'm running a 10 kilowatt generator, uh, it's going to require about 25 pounds of fuel per hour. Now if I'm running a 5 kilowatt um, uh, it's going to require you know half of that amount, and if I'm require if I'm uh, running a 20 kilowatt, it's going to require twice that amount. Now the main reactor tank itself holds between 50 and 60 pounds of fuel. So in that example that I gave, that 10 kilowatt generator is going to give me a runtime on the main reactor tank of about two two and a half hours. The five kilowatts going to give me twice that. 20 kilowatts going to give me half of that. So then I can start looking at. Uh, as far as run times, basically sizing my generator. So if I want longer run times on the standard reactor tank, I gotta run a smaller generator. If I want to run a larger generator and I want longer run times, then I've got to add more fuel. And how do we add the more fuel? Is we add a hopper. Now one of the other nice things about this design is that it's designed to accommodate a hopper. Uh, we can basically take the lid brackets for the lid on the reactor, we can unbolt that, we can take the lid off and then we can place our hopper tank on and the hopper tank has the same lid brackets uh, that's on the reactor and basically take that lid and move it to the top of the hopper. So it's a very convenient uh, way of adding uh, space. You don't have to do it up front. You could say run the reactor for a while and decide oh, I need to increase my run times. Later on I want to add a hopper. It's a very easy thing to do. Now what we do in our hopper design is we support essentially three sizes. We support a 30 gallon, which I don't have here, a 45 gallon and a 60 gallon. And they're the same dimensions, same parts. The only thing that varies is the height. Um, the case of the 30 gallon, uh, it's gonna be about 30 inches tall. Um, 45 gallon's gonna be about uh, 36 inches. The uh, 40, uh, 60 gallon's gonna be about 48 inches. So what that means is putting these tanks on, it's increasing the height of your uh, reactor. So if you put a 60 gallon hopper on this, your reactor is now going to be eight feet tall. You're going to need a step ladder just to get up there to fuel it up. Um, but it'll definitely increase your run time. So you can kind of size uh, your generator and you can calculate your run times uh, based on that. Now as to how the uh, hopper really works is, is what it does is it sits on top of the reactor. The outside diameter of the hopper is bigger than the diameter of the actual reactor tank. The reactor tank is only about 15 inches in diameter. The diameter of the hopper is about 20 inches in diameter. And the reason for that is when you place the hopper on top of the reactor, the heat column that comes from the uh, combustion will rise up through the fuel wood, rise up into the hopper, and that any moisture that's contained in that fuel wood is going to be drawn to the outside of the hopper walls. It could, because it's outside of that heat column, it'll, it'll collect condensate. That condensate will collect on the inside of the tank and will run down into an internal condensate liner which will collect moisture inside the hopper. Then there's a drain on the bottom of the hopper where we can drain out the moisture, just like we have a drain on the cooling on the, on the reactor itself. Uh, so basically that's the function. It's pretty simple. There's no moving parts. It really is just extra fuel storage and condensate collection uh, for your fuel wood. Now, obviously, we still recommend that you burn dry wood or even burn charcoal. I completely recommend just burning charcoal only. It will eliminate any moisture issues that you might have in your fuel wood. Um, but basically, that's it. That's what a, a, uh, a hopper is going to do for you. Um, it's not required. Uh, like I said, when you get into larger engines and you get into longer run times, then you might want to consider adding a hopper. Okay, so now we're going to go in and actually look at what the uh, parts are for building the hopper. So the subassembly, which is included in your kits, uh, this is the subassembly that we're going to be working on. So you can see here we start off with the flange plate, a riser, uh, bottom plate, 
the internal five inch riser that's going to act as a condensate collection. We've got a, a expanded metal uh, screen that allows the moisture to flow down through. We've got uh, external housings and we've got different sizes here so you can build the size that you want. Then we put on another flange, we add another five inch riser and then the bracket, same brackets that you have on your reactor that we will hold the lid. So this diagram is going to go through, all, uh, it's a pretty simple uh, structure. So basically what we're talking about is the hopper is going to be another section of tank that's going to fit on top of the reactor. Okay. All right. So basically what we have is we have two flanges. Now these are the same quarter inch mild steel flanges that's on the reactor itself. We have two of them. So one's going to be on the bottom of the hopper, one's going to be on the top of the hopper. And then we have a two inch riser that's going to raise it up uh, two inches so we've got room to ma maneuver uh, put our mounting bolts in there. We have a bottom plate that's going to go on top of the two inch riser. These are 20 inch outside diameter. One's going to be for the bottom of the hopper, one's going to be for the top of the hopper. We have a three quarter inch drain plug and then we have these uh, tabs that are going to be welded on to the lid flange that's going to actually hold, secure the hopper to the top of the reactor. Okay. Then we have, this is the five inch riser, so the bottom one is going to act a, as a reservoir collector. The top riser is going to come outside of the top of the reactor that's going to hold the, the, uh, the lid. The expanded metal is going to be a cone that's going to be on top of the uh, internal riser that's going to allow the moisture to pass down through and collect in the reservoir. The external housings, we have two sizes. We have a 10 inch riser, we have a 20 inch riser. So depending on what size hopper that you're building, if you're building, for example, a 30 gallon, which is our smallest, you would just use one 20 inch riser um, and then put the lid on that. If you're gonna build a 45 gallon, you would use a 20 inch riser and a 10 inch riser. Um, if you're gonna build a 60 gallon hopper, you would use two 20 inch risers, okay? And with, between the risers, there's gonna be an internal uh, half inch metal band that's gonna give you, uh, uh, basically between the two, that's gonna give you a, more of a surface to weld, weld to. Then we have the lid brackets. Now these are the same lid brackets uh, that are on your reactor. So the bolt pattern is identical. So all you have to do is unbolt the reactor lid and when you put these on top of the hopper, your reactor lid's gonna bolt right back on. Then, just like we do on the reactor, we use this three quarter inch silicone cord um, uh, as a seal, just like on the inside of the uh, lid itself. Then additionally, we use a one inch fire rope that you would put on your reactor uh, in between the condensate liner and the top of your reactor. So we don't want, when we place a, hopper on top of the reactor, we don't want that fuel falling down to the uh, condensate liner uh, and where the moisture is collected. So we put that on the top to stop the wood from falling into the condensate liner on your reactor. Uh, but the build is pretty simple. Uh, these are the parts. Um, you can build it to three different sizes. Uh, we also offer this uh, as complete uh, build as well if you're doing a complete build from us. Uh, so that's it. That's the hopper. That's how the hopper functions. And uh, good luck on your builds, and we'll see you on the next one.